right guys so welcome back well let's get started with this look i'm using the tart shape tape um concealer to prime my eyes and then i'm going in with the abh eyeshadow primer it's one of my favorite if i want like bright looks so i'm just kind of adding that on top to give me a clean base and then i'm going to be using this um give me glow butterfly vibes palette it is so pretty guys like it's just giving me that barbie vibes well i know barbie is kind of gone but you know me i'm always kind of behind on trends so i'm just kind of like i was like you know i'm feeling pink today and uh, let me just do this barbie look and get it out of the way okay so that's what i'm doing i used all the pinks in that palette like there were a lot of like hot pinks there and then i went in with this lilac shade as well everything i used was from that palette so I feel like that palette is like a one-stop you know palette the shimmers are like shimmering you know but i didn't want to use the shimmer because i felt like there was no dark shade to kind of like blend the shimmers so <clears throat> i didn't want to use that and then i'm putting this my kiss lashes it was on sale a long time ago so i just used that and you know just making sure to blend blending is key so just making sure everything looks good and i was feeling myself because that teal you know and then i'm using this tarte poreless primer i've had it for a long time so i was like you know what let me just finish it up let me use some of my oldie but goodies you know i like it because it's a smoothing primer and then i use this huda beauty color corrector i don't remember the shade but i'll put it in the description bar and you know it really color corrected i feel like i found my perfect like orangey tone to you know kind of hide my dark circles and you see as i blend as i kind of blend them out like it really did cover so quick tip is making sure you find a good orange color corrector that matches your skin tone or that matches how dark your um your dark spots are i feel like it really does help and then i'm going in with this lancome um, foundation this is the reformulated foundation and i'm using the shade 525 it was a little bit dark just a tiny bit dark but i don't mind because i'm going i was going to go in with the concealer anyway so it really worked for me and i do kind of like to go just a little bit dark not too 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 dark i like to go dark because then it gives me room to you know go lighter with my concealer and then it also just gives that dimension of like bright under eye and all that kind of stuff i'm so sorry if i sound just out of it i have a cold and yeah i'm really struggling so i use my elf um, um concealer i don't remember the shade but then i also use the tart shape tape concealer as well to again just to kind of brighten that under eye area and then i did this new trick that i've seen on like um tiktok well oh first of all that's the new juvia space bronzer i used amber but it was not showing too much so i just used another shade so yeah this is the new trick that they're doing like to be honest i could care less i don't really care but i guess it worked you know because i wanted that on that eye to be a little dark so it worked i'm just blending with my brush i like to go in with a brush first these days and then i'll use a um, beauty blender to blend everything out so i just like to do that because the brush gives you that coverage and then basically the um, sponge just kind of melts everything in and you know helps kind of like cover out any like mistakes that you've made so that's pretty much it guys i'm i'm out of breath because i have a cold and these are just the early stages and i'm just i feel like i'm about to like lose it but guys blend 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 like i really loved how my blending was here and then i used the shallow tilbury i didn't show you guys but i used the shallow tilbury powder uh, powder um in tan that's that's literally one of my favorite powder i like to set first before baking and then i'm going in with this juvia's place blush this is one of my favorite blush because it has this like berry tone pink in it and like this it's like a bronzer for me that that palette actually because it has a bronzer and a pink shade that i like i like the tone so i'm just doing the same thing that i did um up i'm doing bottom as well and then i'm going in with this stila um highlighter i don't know if they make this anymore this is in bronze glow it's literally one of my favorite i've i've been using this non-stop because it's not glittery and it just like highlights my skin without it being too glittery i mean you can see me feeling myself like 
and then i'm using this sephora um lip pencil in molasses it's like my favorite brown lip pencil and then this mac like lip stuff the thing with this is you don't want to like twist it up all all up if not it will break and then i'm just putting in a light pink gloss and that's pretty much it pressing everything to my skin let me know if you like this look don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye guys